Hey guys, this is Amin and in this video we're going to continue what we've learned about uh, Raspberry Pi Pico, my, MicroPython and programming our microcontroller. So, so far we know how to make this LED blinking as it is right now for us. Also, the idea of this video is to have the PIR sensor like that connected to the board and then with the movement of our hand then the LED it lights on and off for us based on the movement. So we need a motion detector, which is this PIR sensor. If you take a look at it, it has some uh, potentiometers here to change the sensitivity. It's not what we want to do. But the other thing is that it has three pins here, but it's not breadboard friendly. So if you want to insert these pins into the breadboard, we do need a female header or something like that. So we just simply put it into this and then it would be easier for us to work with. Then about the pins, just simply use the nail and remove this cap. Then we'll see here we have VCC, we have ground and we have out. So VCC will be connected to the five. So there are two, before everything, there are two pro, uh, pins on Raspberry Pi, which they provide a voltage for us. One of them is three, the other one is five. I mean the voltage. So some of the sensors or devices are kind of sensitive. They cannot tolerate more than three voltage. So we're going to connect them to the three volts. And this one is okay. So we're going to connect it to the five volt one. Then ground will be connected to the ground for sure. Then finally we have the out. So out is the one that I connected to pin 20 or GP28 in this case. Then we'll do everything there easily. And the concept, this one will act like a key for us, like, like a push button. So it will be our input. Let me just uh, remove my face. So it will be like that. We have the ground, we have the uh, VCC. Then, um, yeah, that's it. How we're going to do that, it is the other way of demonstration. And don't worry about the codes. All of the codes can be found on the GitHub link that I will add at the uh, bottom of the caption of all of the videos so don't worry about that then and also these uh, pictures if you want to set it up on your own then we have this one which is this finally it will be the code which will work for us how look at that so for machine we're importing pin then for our it's a name that we are adding so pir is pin 28 which will be pin in so it will give us the input which is the movement then pin 16 like the previous video will be the LED so while true so it works forever for us whenever it gets something turn the value uh, change the value one or turn the LED on and then when there's nothing so there will be nothing for us let me stop from the blinking from the previous one and then run this one so if I come back and bring it for you right now the LED is off if I make a movement we can see maybe I should make it a little closer so there is nothing here if I bring my hand here and make a movement we can see this one the LED is blinking uh, basically we should not forget that part this one is like a all over coverage 180 it's not like just moving your hand directly towards the face of that maybe from the movement it can get it and also the sensitivity as i said is what you can change it and adjust it based on the thing that you want and uh, that's it for this video so i hope you'll find it useful and see you in the next video bye guys bye bye